Tobagonians urged to live the qualities taught by Easter. The island's athletes lead the way at Carifta 2016 and a new child and adolescent centre for Tobago. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Easter is a very important occasion on this island and is usually marked with worship and celebration. One event continues to be the highlight of the holiday. Caroline Wallace tells us more. For the last 33 years, Sunfest has been one of the major events of the Easter weekend in Tobago. Bringing greetings to the worshippers, Chief Secretary over London urges them to go beyond celebrating its significance. We have a responsibility to understand the meaning of Easter, and not only to understand it, but to live it. And I am always comforted by the fact that regardless of what happens in the rest of Tobago, at this place, three nights in succession, we ensure that God is in Easter, and we ensure that we celebrate Easter in the way that it should be celebrated. Secretary of Community Development and Culture, Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus, says Easter should make us reflect on what we are doing to help those around us. It should teach us, she says, about the qualities needed to surmount the challenges. The qualities of prayer, faith, hope, determination, perseverance, tolerance, and compassion. Qualities that are needed every single day in our lives and that we should remember. The event is supported by the Tobago House of Assembly annually. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. Tobago's athletes stood out on the regional stage this weekend, leading the medal hunt. Kern De Freitas has more from Carifta. Tobago led the way for this country at the 2016 Carifta Games, capturing two of three gold medals to help Trinidad and Tobago finish fifth overall. At the National Athletic Stadium in Grenada on Saturday, Tariq Horsford kick-started the country's campaign with a huge 73-metre throw. He clipped his own boys under-18 Carifta record, to win gold in the process. On Monday, Hakani Hislop came up with boys 200 meter gold, clocking 20.89 for a comfortable win. The other gold medal went to Khalifa St. Fort in the girls under 20, 100 meters event. Also on the medals table were under 18 javelin thrower Asha James and heptathlete Anya Akili, who both bagged bronze. Chelsea James was also a bronze medalist in the girls under 20 shot put competition. In all, Trinidad and Tobago won 14 medals, three gold, two silver and nine bronze. I'm Kundi Freitas for Info Update. There's a new space for the Tobago Regional Health Authority's Child and Adolescent Centre. More details in this report. According to Acting Chief Executive Officer Dr. Nathaniel Duke of the Tobago Regional Health Authority, children and adolescents who need to be assessed and treated for mental conditions on the island now have a new space to heal. The new Child and Adolescent Centre is located at the former Scarborough General Hospital's compound at Uptown Scarborough. TRAG, in consultation with the Division of Health and Social Services, recognised that we must have a different place for the children who are most needy of this service. What we see here today is, is, was not an easy task. It, there were a lot of negotiations as the building was earmarked for something else. So there were a lot of negotiations, a lot of um, appropriation of funding to make this happen. The center caters for children and teenagers between the ages of 2 and 17, and it now has even more specialists than before. Dr. Duke says the center will work hand-in-hand -hand with the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport, as well as the Division of Health and Social Services. This will allow the TRHA to offer the best possible treatment and follow-up for children and adolescents who need mental care. The Child and Adolescent Center multidisciplinary team approach in dealing with children who are troubled or children who need any form of, of evaluation. It is not there to stigmatize patients in any way. We are there to provide a service, a much needed service in our society. And as such, the TRHA will spare no expense in ensuring that the service continues and continues to grow. I'm Josan Brassi for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update.